Hey guys, Ola here, and I'm here to show you the bias pedal from Positive Grid. Basically, it's a plug-in to design your own distortion or overdrive pedal. And I'm going to show you how I would use it to set up a tight rhythm sound. If you work with other plugins from Positive Grid, you can see that the layout is basically the same. It's a signal chain with different parts of the pedal design. The signal goes from left to right. First we have the custom panel, where you can make the pedal look like any way you want. Basically you can change the colors, you can uh, change the box, rename the pedal, or even upload your own picture. After that we have the pre-EQ, the clipping stage, output stage, post equalizer, power module, the pedal match. And the, the pedal match is cool because you can basically capture the characteristics of a physical or a software pedal. Also, there's already a bunch of presets available if you don't really want to tweak around. And it's also a good base to stand on if you want to start something from, so you don't have to start anything from scratch. So before we begin, I'm just going to show you that I'm using bias effects. And here's a simple rectifier amp set. I'm not using too much gain because we want to saturate that amp with the bias pedal to make a tight distortion. We're going to add the bias pedal in front of the amp sim. And let's start off by using a two streamer pedal preset just to have a starting point. And uh, my suggestion when starting to design a pedal is to wait until last to uh, bring in the pre and post equalizers. I will use them for making slight changes in the end when you have the basics of your pedal done. So I'm starting at the clipping stage. You have a pre-low and high cut here. You can shape the signal if you want. Moving the low cut slider will definitely help tighten up a lot of low end distortion. So if you're tuned low, this is a good way to control that low end. Then you have the gain and distortion level. And these are the same knobs as on the front panel. So these are the same. Here we have the bias control. And uh, it can go from having a really clean character to a more warm character um, with the signal. And topology is basically what type of transistor you would use. And uh, for this pedal I'm going to use a MOSFET. In the output stage, there's also a choice of what type of transistor you will want. And uh, it also has another distortion, which uh, adds even more gain if you need that. It has a pulse equalizer, tone knob, output knob, and a mix knob. And uh, just like the uh, clipping stage, you also have a pre-low cut and a high cut here. The power module is where you set the compression of the pedal. You also have a choice to simulate what type of voltage you will want to feed a pedal. This is something I've been experimenting a bit with real pedals, uh, connecting more than just one 9 volt battery. I've played around with, with 18 volts and even 36 volts. So it's nice to see this feature here. With the compression, I set a mid attack and a fast release to get that tightness out. Sounds pretty good. Now I have a pretty awesome sounding overdrive pedal going. And uh, this is the point where I would use the pre and the post equalizers to shape it up even further if I have to. So I might just add a little mid range. That. Cool. So, cool thing now is that when I save this preset, I can find this particular pedal among the other overdrives in the bias effects plugin. This. See. There it is. So I can just load it up into the bias effects plugin instead. You're good. You also have a global gate control and uh, also another cool thing is something called the amp room. Now you just click here and you'll be able to quickly hear how the overdrive sounds with uh, different types of amp sims uh, from the bias plugin. 
So I can just try out, let's try out this one. Cool. So uh, yeah, sounds pretty good. And uh, that's the positive grid bias pedal for you. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and uh, stay mellow.